FC Liverpool are at Keithley Road this afternoon to take on Silsden, and in the absence of manager Paul Moore, assistant manager Stuart Humphreys will be looking to guide the side to their first double of the season, after they beat Silsden on the opening day 2-1 at Valerie Park. Making his debut for AFC Liverpool today is goalkeeper Sean Lake, who has had experience at Vauxhall Motors, Marine and Southport among others. So it's Silsden who get us underway this afternoon and they're looking to arrest a run of three consecutive defeats, though only one of those has come in the league, a 5-0 away loss to Colm. As Buckley looks to send Wilkinson away down the left flank, first time ball into the box, he's going to find Hale, Hall comes across, smothers it, Wignall picks up the rebound, it's blocked on the line by Nettleton and Harris following up, squeezes in his half volley and AFC Liverpool take the lead after just 25 seconds. An explosive start by AFC Liverpool and it's surely got to go down as their quickest ever goal and it would have been even quicker had it not been for Edward Hall in the Silsden goal and then James Nettleton on the line denying Ryan Wignall but when it fell to Sean Harris he made no mistake. Torpy with the long throw in. Throop gets his head to it and there's panic in the Silsden defence and Throop hooks it behind for an AFC Liverpool corner and Silsden are definitely looking shaky here. Wignall's delivery and comes Harris, Hall saves on the line. Hansen's header has set it up for Wilkinson and his shot is blocked and it goes behind for another AFC Liverpool corner and they've come close to doubling their lead inside this opening 10 minutes. Brown with the intercepting header finds Torpy. His ball forward has been left by Wilkinson and Hales onto it. Hull comes off his line. Hale gets around the keeper, then slots it into an empty net. And AFC Liverpool have taken advantage of their dominance of this early period. And they have a two goal lead thanks to Daryl Hale, who claims his third goal of the season. Duran with the throw in finds Harris. He knocks it out wide to find Wilkinson. Wilkinson waits for the run of Torpy, then uses him as a dummy. Rides one challenge, advances towards the edge of the Silsden box. He's not closed down, has a shot, but he can't keep it down. Walsh faints to go one way and says Buckley the dummy then plays a ball down the right flank for Brian. First time ball into the box, Brown gets something on it but he sets it up for Garrett and it's a great save by Sean Lake. And Anthony Brown will bring it away for AFC Liverpool and Silsden almost pull a goal back with their first attack of the game. Harris picks it up for AFC Liverpool and looks to go around the outside of Hansen. Tries to find Wilkinson but it's slightly behind the winger. Comes back to Picton. He's encouraged to shoot and that he does and he sends in a thunderbolt which comes crashing back off the upright. And Neville Picton is inches away from claiming his first goal for AFC Liverpool and surely putting this game beyond Silsden. Brown lays it off to Duran, whose ball forward goes straight to Moses. The right back plays it forward and finds Ryan, who holds it up well. Lays it off to Brian, whose ball down the flank has played in Garrod, and he's in behind Anthony Brown. Michael Garrod races into the AFC Liverpool box one on one with Lake, and he puts it into the back of the net. And Silsden, who 60 seconds ago were inches away from being completely out of this game, have suddenly found the lifeline. Once the number nine was clean away, there was no stopping him. And though Sean Lake got something on his effort, he couldn't prevent Garrod from claiming his 18th goal of the season. Duran with a couple of feints has opened up some space for himself and with a burst of speed he comes into the sills in half. Trapped by Hansen, he leaves it to Ryan Wignall. He's got some space in front of him in which to attack. 
Wignall looks to take on Hansen, gets past him with ease to the byline, cross into the box. Through gets ahead to it, but it's going to fall to Wilkinson on the half volley, but he can't keep his effort down. Paul with the kick downfield, but he doesn't get that much distance on it. And Harris rises and with a flick on sends Barry away. Paul comes racing off of his line and gets just enough on it to deflect Barry's attempt wide. Francis Barry to take the corner. Brown can't get anything on it. Comes through to Harris. Shot on the turn is scuffed. There's Robertson and he turns it home. And surely now the result is sealed for AFC Liverpool as George Robertson opens his account for the club. When that ball was delivered across, there was no Silsden player anywhere near getting a touch on it. And the ball dropped to George Robertson. He finished with all the sureness of a striker. to close down McNulty and Duran does likewise and the pressure's worked as AFC Liverpool won that possession. Wilkinson's ball has played in Harrison behind the Silsden defence. He cuts inside through, holds off the challenge of McNulty. Wilkinson takes over but his effort comes back off the inside of the post. And for the second time this afternoon, the upright has saved Silsden. And picks out Harrison and he skips past Hansen with relative ease. Ball towards the back post is going to find Mahama, but he can't direct it goalwards. Satisfying afternoon's work for you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, a good three points. Um, I think the lads, you know, they put, in a, they put in a great effort, and you know, it was got our just rewards really. 3-1, I think 3-1 didn't reflect our domination of the game really, we you know, we should have gone 5 or 6. Um, got off to an explosive start, couldn't have gone much better really, could it? Well, you know, they were told and they've, you know, we've got a decent squad at AFC Liverpool now. You know, there's players not available today but are going to be available on Friday and the lads who started, they're the ones who've got the shirt and they were told you need to get out of the blocks, get on the front foot, put them on the back foot and we need to take our opportunities. Thankfully we did. Uh, it's important as well once you took that early lead that you didn't let Silsden back into it. Yeah, um, it's been a bit of Achilles' heel for us, um, but we've been working hard on the training ground. You know, setting how we're setting up and how we're dealing with balls that are coming into the box. And I thought, uh, you know, we dealt with it quite quite well today, better than we have done, to be honest. Um, invite a little bit of pressure on yourselves, conceding a few free kicks, uh, but dealt with them where fairly well. Yeah, it seems to be a big problem with the group of players that we've got. Lack of discipline, really. I think they wanna, they wanna win, and you know, they wanna, they wanna get the ball back. Sometimes when you just gotta stay on your feet, and you know, that's something that we drill into them week in, week out, week in, week out. I think we conceded about eight free kicks in the first ten minutes, and you know, luckily, you know, we didn't, we didn't, um, we didn't concede anything. Um, fine margins. Uh, um Neville picked and hits the post from 25 yards, and then 60 seconds later, Sills and Paul won back. It's football for you, isn't it? Uh, you know, absolutely fantastic strike. I think he, you know, say 25 yards out, keepers beat no end. He's just come off the upright, gone out to the right wing, and you know we fell asleep a little bit on the uh, left back area. So I need to have a look at that, um, see who was at fault really, and give him a clip round the ear. <laughs> um, satisfying for Sean Harris and uh, for George Robertson as well, getting goals today. Well, you know, Sean, I thought that was Sean's best game. Um, worked hard, you know, led the line well. You know, he was uh, disciplined in what we asked him to do when we wanted him to drop off and just stop there, number four, getting on the ball, and he did. And we seen the half out, and it, you know, it was a good performance. George, George just said that he's going to give Franny some uh, finishing lessons on Tuesday. Uh, Franny said he, he, he's looking forward to it greatly. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Darrell Hill taking his goal well, didn't panic when he was one on one with the keeper. You know, if you if you do your homework on Darrell Dell's a finisher, you know, he doesn't panic. He's got good composure in front of the goal and more often than not he hits the target. And um I think that's his third goal. He's had one disallowed and when he gets fitter he's gonna become a bit of a handful, I, sh I should imagine. Yeah, build on this win for on Friday night against Bake Up now. Yeah, we've got Bake Up away. Um, game's been Brought forward to Friday night, obviously the tragic death of um, one of their players. 
and you know it's we you know we've got to go we've got to show respect and you know made up that we're going up there on Friday it'd be a tough game it'd be a tough game we know a lot about them because we've played them a number of times so you know, we'll set ourselves up and you know I'm confident that we'll go there and we'll get something from the game well, congratulations to today all right thank you very much